So basically, here's what I've got going on. This is a uh, my Moto Bacane. It's a AV7 I'm running the uh, the Airsol 74cc kit on there. That's a Delorto uh, 19 millimeter PHBG clamp style carb on a shorty intake, and I'm running clutch pulley and the ER3 uh, Doppler spring down here and uh, motor mounts are new um, these are not the uh, the NAS ones uh, from Treats or 1977 these are uh, these are the heavy duty ones that uh, the French store uh, scoot bike shop sells so those are on there it's uh, if I wiggle this it's mounted pretty firm and when the uh, the bike runs it's from from the riding position it's really smooth I don't feel a whole lot of vibration at all and so so that's basically what I've got going on and uh, I've got the MVT CDI there internal rotor deal but so basically here's my problem um, when it uh, when the engine revs um, if I rev it way up uh, and the engines and the motor starts to variate back and stuff, I get a bunch of fuel uh, spilling out of the overflow uh, spigots on the car. And uh, I uploaded an earlier video and uh, uh, Rebel Moby uh, uh, told me to put the uh, spigot back in to the, the anti-perk the anti -perk disc, sorry. Uh, back into the um, into the the fits around the main jet um, on the moped army wiki it says to take that off and ditch it but um, since he brought it up it actually makes sense to to kind of um, hasten the percolation and fuel spillage that I'm seeing and it did help a little bit but I'm still seeing it and he also noted that uh, one of my mounts was torn thus I replaced the mounts with with these so everything should be good now. I even I even bought this cheap shitty sim pipe um, just in case the way um, my Doppler pipe was mounted if it was vibrating too much and causing the fuel to spill out. Maybe that was my problem. I, I got a I threw an SHA on there. I mean it doesn't have the overflow uh, spigots up there but it still it had gas draining out of wherever it could when I revved it. So I don't know. Um, I'm gonna start it up and and let you guys see what I'm what I'm seeing. And you can, the the engine does vibrate like crazy, but I don't know where it's coming from. And so I even to kind of isolate it even further, I stuck a little piece of foam um, where the uh, spring connects to the frame. So the engine is basically isolated. Um, so that's why I'm I'm. Uh, not not feeling a whole lot of vibration on the frame um, when I'm riding it, but um, so here goes. I'll show you what's going. On. So here you go. Um, so you can see it uh, idling just fine. Nothing nothing spilling out of those hoses. Over here on the variator side of things, everything looks good. Now, I'll try to hold the I'll try to hold the camera as steady as I can and kind of watch the uh, watch the fins on the engine. How much this thing vibrates. I, I don't know if you get the general idea out of that, but um, yeah, so I, I don't know. At this point, any help I can get would be greatly appreciated. So yeah, basically what's happening is so all that fuel goes out the uh, out the overflow tubes and it, it leans out and my temperature starts to climb pretty quickly. So I don't know. 
If you guys can help, that would be awesome.